I'm glad. To soulmates. <laughs> guys in one word describe the movie confusing hey, spider-man i was very surprised all right guys all right in one word describe the movie one word uh, avery what? go good That's, of course, okay, of course. <laughs> uh, 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 pretty, pretty good oh, i don't hey. nostalgia, nostalgia. Yeah. one word describe the movie in one Dude, word together together okay oh. okay all right, second, second try, because y'all's answers are terrible. Okay. Was, uh, family, family. What, what? You got to wait for that. <laughs> you stole that. <laughs> so, uh, in one word, describe the Spider-Man movie. Avery. Uh, brotherhood. Okay, okay. <laughs> Richard? What? Bro, Richard? you knew that was going to be mine, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? You said family. Sisterhood. What? Sorry. Um, I, uh, blessings, grace. <laughs> Damn it! It was a lot, a lot. That's two words. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was an eight out of ten. What? Don't you worry. It was good. It was good. It was eight out of ten. Um, I feel like there was some awkward scenes. It was supposed to be awkward, but it was like yes, they're time. all awkward in their own way in their in their in their own movies. It's all awkward. I'm just gonna say it was busted. <laughs> What is going on fam it's your boy uno and you know today's gonna be a great day well so you guys saw me and the guys just went to see spider-man last night and uh let me tell y'all you better go watch it so today i got a pack i'm going home in a couple days uh home is puerto rico for me so i got a pack and get ready so today's gonna be just today I'm going to get a haircut because i need it but we're gonna do that, take you guys along, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. See you in a little bit.
All right, guys, so I'm back in my apartment. Got a haircut, got my car washed. Funny enough, it is about one o'clock here in Jacksonville, and I unintentionally have been fasting this whole morning. So I'm starving. I'm about to make some breakfast, and then I'm gonna shower up. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you could have, you might have noticed a couple days ago or last week I posted me becoming an affiliate with a lagging anthem. So if you haven't checked them out yet, I'll link their website. I love their material, especially their Made Flex collection. I'll show you guys what I got sent from Flag and Anthem. Kind of get a feel of them and tell you my honest opinion. So this is a mix of their fall and holiday collection. First up, we have their Huntington Long Sleeve Tonal Stripe Hoodie, which is super light and really comfortable. I love the fit. Paired with their Victory Made Flex Performance Joggers, which are super soft and perfect for the holiday season. Now we got their Hayworth Long Sleeve Burnout Waffle Henley in a camel print. Uh, super soft again, really comfortable. Paired with the Castleton Chinos in an Oakland Slim. Next we have their Samsonville Flannel in a navy and blue print. Um, super comfortable. I really like their flannels, guys, especially for, for the season that we're in. Now we have the Green Evers Flannel in maroon and navy blue. Usually not a big fan of red, but in this tone, I really do like it. It's a good fit. Followed by the Wheatland Double Pocket Flannel, classic gray and black. Followed by the Plymouth Hooded Shirt Jacket. It does have pockets in the front, and I really like the hood material. It's kind of like a suede. Uh, really comfortable. If you guys are wondering about my undershirt, it is a Flag and Anthem shirt. It's part of their Made Flex collections. So if you're looking for a plain basic tee, they got you. Last but not least, their dual knit performance quarter zip from their Made Flex collection. By far one of my most favorite pieces. Really light, super soft, and comfortable, guys. And let me not forget to mention it's reversible. So it goes from that light blue to this nice light gray. If you like any of these items please check them out on their website use my code jeff20 i'll link their website down in the description along with my code please show some love and support guys i'd appreciate it what's going on guys yes i am indeed packing uh as you all know christmas is coming up so i'm gonna spend it with my family this year um, i don't get to do it as often um so for y'all, for you guys that don't know, that just are now just getting to know me through uh, social media. Um, I'm originally from Puerto Rico, so I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, um, and I came to Florida, specifically Jacksonville, because oh, graduated from high school and immediately came over here when I was 18, and my family still lives in Puerto Rico, um, so I'm gonna go there for Christmas to see. My mom, my dad, my grandmas, my granddad, and all my cousins and aunts on my mom's side that live there. Um, we're kind of scattered all over the place, but it's a whole side conversation. Um, so I'm packing for the trip. Um, really excited to be back in the island. I miss my peeps from high school and middle school, and I just want to be with some family and enjoy the holidays. Like, I miss these warm holidays which is kind of weird because uh i live here in florida jacksonville to be specific and the weather here is so bipolar and all the way down to 60s and then by midday it's already in the 80s again it's like i wake up freezing all you northerners yes that is freezing down here and by midday you're like taking all your layers on because it's freaking hot as hell um, so I'm tired of it. I'm really excited for the tropical winter. It doesn't really get cold in the island. The coldest it probably gets, unless you live in the mountains, which could maybe get to like mid-60s. Uh, coldest it gets throughout the winter is probably like 75 in Puerto Rico. So it's really nice. So if you guys ever want to go to the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, it's a spot. You don't even need a passport. Yes, we use the same currency. Yeah, just some... Uh, just some packing going on. Um, why not I take the chance to introduce myself properly into YouTube? Like I said, for those of you that 
don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me. I would appreciate it. Uh, Jeff underscore Uno, same as YouTube. My name is Jeffrey Vargas. I go by Uno, which was my, my college uh, nickname. And then you guys might also know me on TikTok or just hashtags on uh, Instagram by Diesel Rican. So that story came back to football. I was the only Hispanic in the team. I don't know if you guys have noticed, you probably can't tell through the video, but I am 5'9". So I'm relatively a small dude. I used to hang around with all the linemen. Funny enough, I would play safety. I was a defensive back and I was one of the smallest on the group. But they used to joke around to say that offensive linemen in general are one of the fun are the funniest dudes on any roster. Like they are they are hilarious. So hang out with them a lot. Had a lot of lifts with them and you know some of them just started calling me Diesel Regan because for my height, my weight, I lifted pretty heavy uh, in the weight room. So they started calling me Diesel Regan and that's how, how it started. And it kind of stuck. I like it. Um, and then Uno. I also started football, but it translated into my uh, Greek life. So for you guys, again, getting to know me a little bit more, when I went to college, I actually joined a fraternity. And then... Uh, <laughs> I can't pack and talk at the same time, but basically, it's one of the brothers that pledged for the fraternity with me, was in the football team with me. You know? I kind of walked myself into it. Side note, when I came into college, I had one single dread. Yes, one single dread. Not a rat tail. One dread. I was Hispanic, so he started calling me Uno. Thanks, Kev. I appreciate it, man. And then my fraternity uh, brothers, like the, my pledge brothers started calling me Uno, and then the fraternity started calling me Uno, and then soon enough, by the end of freshman year, everybody in the university knew me by Uno. Uh, so, soft, you know, next year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, everybody that came in the following years after me didn't even know my first name. They were like, who's Jeff? Oh, Uno, or oh, the kid with dreads. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I kind of how I kind of started. Didn't mind it. I really did like the nickname. Uh, like who doesn't like to be called one or like number one, right? So that stuck around, and you know, it's I still use it because a lot of people still know me by it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, you guys saw the try and haul, so I am. Officially an affiliate with uh, Flag and Anthem. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys are ever looking for honestly cool ass clothes, ch check them out. Uh, use my code, support your boy, as well as get a sweet discount. Like, come on. I'm also affiliated with Rise Bar. If you guys don't know Rise Bar, Rise Bar is the best protein bar I've ever had. Probably the best protein bar in the market. Um, the simplest one and the cleanest one. Literally, no more than five ingredients per bar. Uh, and it tastes freaking sweet, like not chalky. Honestly, to me, it tastes like a candy bar. So I freaking love them. I also have a discount code for you guys. It's Jeffrey, my whole, na my whole first name. Jeffrey25, and you get 25% off your box. So again, if you want to support, please do. Uh, you won't regret it. Anyway, so I'm packing right now uh, for the trip for Puerto Rico. I ended up having breakfast basically 3 p.m. And it's right now it's about to be 6 o'clock. Dinner's coming soon and I'm feeling kind of lazy. So I might go out, might take you guys with me. I might not. Uh, depends if I go by myself or some friends for dinner. So keep you guys updated. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram and then tune in for next week. There might be some, something cool coming up. All right. So I'll take you guys on my travels to Puerto Rico. Get to see my friends, get to see some cool places and hopefully do some funny stuff. But 
Thank you guys. Stay blessed. Take care, fam. I will see you guys on the next one. Spread what out, man? What? Do you, what? I don't know who you are, sir. No, no autographs. What did I catch you listening to? <laughs> Sit in thin air, boy. Oh. Sit in thin air, boy. That's what you can do when you're vegan. Um, okay. I'm not. I wish. That's how you get free fries. How'd you do? How'd you finesse that? Well, when I was giving my order, I was like, damn, these fries are expensive as hell. And he's like, here's what I can do for you. He's like, if you just fill out this survey, I'll give you some free fries today. I was like, the same with us. Thank you, sir. Everything you say, do is now going to be reported. Did you see that replay? Did you see that replay? I was testing you. Fuck with me. I was like, what? 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 You want some fries? You want some extra fries? I got some fries. Did you get Cajun seasoning on? I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh. It's like oh. we're meant for each other. It's like, I was going to say brothers, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I guess, what I meant. Yeah, no, I guess I did. Brent's gonna be your soulmate. I don't think. Is that guy works? Okay. Well, I'm glad. To soulmates. <laughs> uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> to make out, Brent? No, we're not gay. I'm not gay. That means I'm gay. Yeah, yeah, me neither. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, thank you. Peach drop that they do downtown or like. Mm. You have peach drop in Atlanta? Yeah. I like the ball drop in New York. We don't like them balls. Do they actually drop a peach? Somebody's on the top of the peach tree. Um, no, <laughs> stop saying. <laughs> Damn it! It's just a street. Oh, that doesn't even. No. Drops. Stop. <laughs> You're reaching. Anyway, a large gentleman stands at the top of the building and he drops a barrel of peaches. Oh. Oh. And then people have to catch them, and if you catch one, you get a chance to win the lottery. And the lottery, it's, it's kind of like a squid game system after that. Uh, you pick your character. You're kidding. Old, you're kidding. Yeah. You almost got me. I almost had you. No. no. It's like the ball drop, but instead of a ball, it's a peach-shaped ball. ball. I mean, a ball-shaped peach. Wait. Yeah. Peach-shaped ball. Like peach. Does it explode, or? <laughs> No, have you seen a ball drop before? <laughs> exactly what happens at the end, it just drops and that's yeah, it. Like, it's really anticlimactic, <laughs> nothing really happens. It drops and then, you know, oh, yeah. we could kiss. Not us. We, we yeah. as in the people. Yeah. You know, you get a New Year's kiss, um, you know, take a shot. Mm. Good, you guys. Really good, really good. All right, is there anything else I can do for you guys? Refills, extra sauces, anything at all? It's all good. You yeah. said you wanted a free milkshake. But, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, it was nice knowing you, I guess. Um, well, hey. I feel like you're going to be a different person. People think. Yeah, you're going to like, start sprouting leaves or. Start wearing Burke Bur 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 stocks. Dude, I'm going to keep my shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. If y'all don't see me anymore, then I guess. Puerto Rican mafia, cartel. I'm in no type of Christmas. You want to? You want to get? Hmm? You want to get? Did you get me anything? Yeah. Oh, friendship. <laughs> okay. So nothing. <laughs>